Well, we're here today to send off our mobile surgical skills unit as it starts off on a very long journey down to Arusha in sub-Saharan Africa. The unit is a mobile surgical skills unit and it's going down to our colleagues in the College of Surgeons East Central Southern Africa to help them and indeed to help us in our collaboration with them in delivering surgical training uh, to, the, to the trainee doctors uh, in that vast region. We have a long history and indeed a long expertise in delivering surgical training and indeed conducting surgical exams. So we were able to offer that expertise and offer that training uh, to our colleagues in Africa. Our intention and indeed our success so far has been that we've been able to um, develop trainers in the region who will be able to continue the work because what we're talking about here is sustainability. The College of Surgeons for East, Central and Southern Africa is a college that operates in 10 countries in East, Central and Southern Africa uh, with a remit of training and advancing surgical training and skills and care. In this region we are facing one of the largest manpower and human resources for health crisis in the globe. We have a situation where there are roughly about one surgeon per 200,000 population or which equates to around about one um, 1,400 surgeons serving a population of nearly a quarter of a billion people. So we have a wo woefully inadequate numbers of surgeons and, and trained health professionals and our, our role as the College of Surgeons is to train the next generation of surgeons with the latest technology to ensure that we're able to deliver world-class services and, and keep, make, you know, maintain the, the surgical um, presence in that region. This is a fully, uh, fully functional um, surgical skills training unit. Um, you can see the, the equipment around, um, you have the laparoscopic trainers, you, um, training stations. You can essentially, you can teach the basic skills of surgery here in a, in a safe environment. In the African context, sub-Saharan African context, most training is done on the job. So, you know, essentially you're learning to suture on people. Um, in this environment, you can make mistakes, you can try things out um, in, in, in a safe environment with high quality instruction. The trainees that come in here uh, get access to uh, some basic skills tasks, um, some emergency procedure mannequins like you have there, and these are surgical simulators. Uh, so these are the ones we use uh, for our surgical trainees here in Ireland. Um, these are using simulation, uh, very similar to video games, uh, that kind of technology that they can practice in safety. Um, uh, using either virtual reality or in the case of these they can use uh, real tasks that they can perform with real instruments and then we can analyze the movement um, by analyzing the paths that their instruments traveled and give them feedback on that. The most basic surgical skills um, can save lives um, and you know I think sometimes when people think of surgery they think of high-tech, um, expensive, um, but simple simple surgeries save lives and prevent disability. And the knock-on effect is, is huge. Not only are you, are you saving a life, um, you know, in terms of injury and, uh, and say, for example, uh, obstetric difficulties, these are young people that are at the center of the family. They have children. They perhaps have um, uh, elderly parents, uh, grandparents that are depending on them for support. If you take uh, the breadwinner out of that family, whether it be through death or whether it be through disability, you're, you're condemning an entire family to poverty. We're standing in the only mobile surgical skills um, training lab in the world. It's a real adventure, I think, that we're, we're starting on. I certainly feel excited at, this, at the moment. You know, it's great to see um, how things have come together so far, um, but I'm well aware that this is the beginning. Um, this is not the end of anything. We're at the very beginning of something, and there are so many variables. There are so many things that can go wrong, but I think the potential is so big that um, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to be involved with this. I think it's an absolutely fan fantastic and fascinating project because it will allow surgical skills to be brought to Africa, to huge swaths of Africa in Central and Eastern and Southern Africa and will allow people to be trained on the ground close to hospitals, close to other locations and clinics in the area uh, and that is something that will allow a huge amount of surgical work to be carried out in the area that would not otherwise be done. It's absolutely essential. We do need to engage uh, on a high level. We need to be partners with people in Africa. This is no longer a donor and a donee situation. This is where we operate on a partnership basis. We work together and this is why I'm delighted that this is a true partnership between the Royal College of Surgeons, between Irish Aid and the people of Africa. 
it, it is exciting uh, and, and there is a sort of a, an epic uh, element to it. But I think it's important that while I am proud of it, it's a very small part of our total collaboration. And I think that's something that I, uh, and indeed all of the college, uh, and so many people in the college are invo involved in our collaboration. We're really proud of, of the collaboration. Uh, we know that we're there for the long term. We're certainly well funded for the next few years. And we would hope uh, to be present, assisting our colleagues in Africa for a long time to come. I feel very excited. I know that this is not that this is not fraught with with challenges. There will be issues in terms of getting this vehicle around some of the African roads and the African road traffic. But I think that fundamentally, this is the right time for it to be in Africa. I think we we have a, a generation of surgeons who who are um, ready to actually access such training facilities, and I think this will be an, a, a, an exciting um, extension to our existing collaboration with the RCSI.